This is Cruise News Today with Doug Parker. Good morning. Here's your Cruise News for Tuesday, July 19th. Could it be a sign of more normalcy? Late yesterday afternoon, the CDC dropped its COVID-19 program for cruise ships. An update on the CDC website now reads, quote, As of July 18th, 2022, the CDC's COVID-19 program for cruise ships is no longer in effect, and this page will no longer be updated. It goes on to say new guidance for the cruise ships to mitigate and manage COVID-19 transmission will be available in the coming days. What does this mean for cruise lines and its protocols? Well, at the time of broadcast, there have been no changes around testing or vaccinations. Since January, the agency's program for cruise ships has been optional. However, every North American cruise line has opted in voluntarily. We'll have to stay tuned to see what changes this brings. And Royal Caribbean Group has confirmed it has acquired the former Crystal Cruises ship, Crystal Endeavor. The vessel, which isn't even a year old yet, will join luxury brand Silver Sea Cruises as its fifth expedition ship. For guests that lost their deposits on Crystal Endeavor while it was sailing for the now bankrupt Crystal Cruises, well, Royal Caribbean Group is honoring those deposits with a new booking on Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean International, or Silver Sea. And if you're wondering how much a ship like this cost, well, Royal Caribbean Group paid $275 million, which is 30% off the construction price of $375 million. And Brazil is expecting its biggest cruising season in a decade this coming fall and winter. Starting in October, the 2022-23 season is set to be one of the longest lasting, which is about six months. Three cruise ships from Costa and five from MSC will sail from the country, offering a total of 160 departures with calls to Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay. Through mid-May, the country is expecting to see additional cruise ships from lines including Holland America, Celebrity, and Regent, making 309 calls to 45 different destinations. And cruise line stocks were up on Monday. Carnival Corporation up 5%, 9.65. Royal Caribbean up 4.8, 34.36. And Norwegian up 5%, 12.39. Breaking news and industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. Have yourself a great Tuesday. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise News Today. Cruise News Today is a production of Cruise Radio. For daily updates, subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.